it's just a little awkward. But okay. It's a weird day today. And Countess Yvonne of Lanexeter's necklace. Your handiwork, wasn't it? It was. I scaled a gutter, entered her bedchamber. Ha! <laughs> I knew it, I knew Ooh. it. Ah, at last, we're all here. Time to begin. Let's heist. Okay. Suggest. So if any We're watching of Ocean's Eleven. Isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Bosodi's auction house. It's fault. That's our target. Everline, you enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes. Is that enough? It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his players. Then. Downstairs to the vault. Quinto will crack the Oh, Garrett looks so Begin. smart. Vault, take the loot, disappear out the back through the secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? You know what? No. No questions. All right. Let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. I like to go in to make the sure plans. Head first okay, with no questions. What about wearing masks? Not a city in the north that don't have wanted posters with my likeness hanging about. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the city watch. Blabber anything about this over there, and I'll kill you with the old hands. Good luck with that. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? <laughs> Anyone need more time? On our way then. Nope. We're just gonna go head first. Like how it should be. When you're doing a heist, you don't want any sort of scoping or anything. Oh, Ger wait, where are Geralt's glasses? Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Evelyn, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. I think gymnastic skills are so cool. Three. Two, one. It's clear. On your way. Like, look at her go. City foul shy all over again. Locked. So. Truth's turning round. We one minute. Move. Poor Natalie, old mother. Keep us from. Don't suspect a thing. We love Redania. We also love thumping on the roof when we're trying to sneak into places. If memory serves, 
You assured us there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. We can't fight. We have no. the same haircut. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. So, I'm on the same boat with you. I don't really know much about Final Fantasy games. The only information I know of Whatever. is when Donkey oh, reviews nice. it. Let's go. Video game Donkey? That's how I know most games. Oh, Geralt, you look so good! Can we wear that mask? Like... Well, can I wear my wolf mask? Letters must be old. String seems to say so too. A love letter? Hold up, we gotta read this. Rest of the Von E estate put up for auction, starting price, one crown, no bids. My love, don't give up. There's still a week uh, till you're to wed the Afiri. I'll think of something. Perhaps I'll get the coin by then. Perhaps my tears will convince your father. Perhaps the gods will hear our prayers. Or if not they, perhaps some devil will. If nothing helps, I'll crash into the temple through the window and sweep you up from the altar. We'll flee somewhere far, far away to the edge of the world where no one will find us. You write of sadness. I feel, I feel its weight too. I think of you constantly. Of, of how we sat at the academy till dawn, nursing a bottle of wine, and you traced our dream house. In the sawdust on the floor, how we dangled our feet in the water from the dock, and you sang, those body songs and made me laugh and laugh. I kiss the medallion, carrying your portrait before I fall asleep, and as soon as I wake, I swear all, on all that is holy, we shall be together forever. Be brave. Oh, this is sad. It was true love. Clear for now. Knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. Not now. The vault. That's our target. Is that clear? Shut up. Y'all are talking so loud. This is why. If you're gonna rob, you need to learn sign language. But we shall raise the starting pro- Watch this. Guards! Guards! I should have stayed in that cage. You said- I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. Uh. Uh. He's using... Stop him! He's not to flee! 
Yes, Geralt! This guy's terrible. Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, master! On the count of three, we go. Why is Gunter One, there? Two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die. Hold now. We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages. Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. Not about to hide behind these folk. I'm letting them go. Are you mad? Any idea what will happen? Yes. And you have any idea what will happen if you try to stop me? Out of my way. Now. This guy really did not plan ahead. An honorable deed. The court's sure to consider it a mitigating factor. Now, you've one minute to come out. One at a time. Hands on your heads! I'm going. Up the chimney and out. It's grown too hot, pure and simple. Best of luck, gentlemen. Drink to our I don't have anything to drink, Will! I don't have any water! I don't have any Pepsi! I'm stuck! Your chance. Attack! Still insist on using that wooden sword. Get to work, Quinto. We'll try and hold off the assault. No, I'm not letting anyone die for this ass. Just good swordsmanship. to die. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, thank you for the posture check, Will. Thank you for the hydrate. Ooh, this is... You know, 
I know it's just flavored water, but it still tastes better than La Crue. Couldn't give a shit if you approve. Right. Our paths will diverge soon enough. In the meantime, the vault awaits. Not to be helped by right now. See, I know it's going to happen, but I'm just going to do what I didn't chose or I didn't choose before. Lovingly crafted. Two spring loaded bolts, cylindrical plugs, dimeritian wards. I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. This guy's such a prick. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move with no time. Mm -hmm. Do or die. Well, what if I wanted to use the wooden sword? There's insector. No. Where is insect oil? Wait, do I not have insect oil? Oh, wait, no, I do. Oh, thank God. I hate these things. I hate these things. That's it for now. How'd they get? Oh, they probably they probably weren't dumb like me and Same paintings were on the block. telling me all this stuff and they they're not even they're not even risking to jump over like the other guys did Greetings, 
brother. Been years. Oh, the twist. Oh, well, complications, complications. Right. Should have known. Same eyes, same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. Yes, it is. <laughs> you two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go with what I didn't choose before. A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Mm, no takers. I have to say, his mask. Speak for yourself. Tempting offer. I've succumbed. You'll pay for that, Quinto. With your head. At them! I don't want to kill Quinto, but we have to, you know? I kind of feel like we need some bombs or something. Because bombs make everything better! Prefer to resolve this elsewise. No, Stop you didn't. Scrolls, throw you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold. After all. Revenge is ice cream. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you, mercy for your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. Oh, if you want. Then walk out as you stand. Just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Like a beast. And you the cheek. To plead. It's good that Geralt doesn't have, uh... Oh! Oh! Well, this is certainly interesting than the, the last one. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No. And I won't be until I find Max Bersotti's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see, it houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas, 
but is free to choose anything else. Don't provoke me. Never know. Might choose to take your head. You're wounded. Tired. Figure my chances are good. What should we do? This guy is kind of an asshole, so. Hmm. Dumb, but have it your way. Let's make this quick before the soldiers get down here. As I said, at your service, mate. This guy just annoys me is all. I like how he really thought he just run up on Geralt and try and cheat him. Which, by the way, in my last playthrough, I resolved this peacefully, so. You can't tell me Geralt is not the ultimate heist master. Look at this! Oh, good job, Geralt! I like how the, this music is evil for Geralt. Okay, let's see what we have. Ooh. Order of the Flaming Rose. Oh, Order of the Flaming Rose has really good armor. Why is this intense music still playing? <sighs> Am I missing something? Oh, 
Wait, I'm getting kind of confused. Wait. Hang on, give me a second. Okay. Use the pressure plate. I use the pressure plate on the Ah, okay. Carol, always getting in trouble. Oh, thank God. So, why is the music still going? Oh my God, Carol is the heist master. Is the heist master? Yeah, so my last playthrough of Hearts of Stone, I went with the uh, the older brother, no, the younger brother, and uh, there was no violence, blah blah blah. But I just, you know, I wanted to see what would happen, and this one is a lot, uh. This is a lot more gory. Oh, wait. Oh, we have to be careful. Yen is around a well somewhere. you to compliment me on my sick glasses. Now that that's all good and done. Need to chat. I'm all ears with you. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run of the mill curse. This professional curiosity or nosiness is common as the club. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks, live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. The mage helped you, right? I'll give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. Oh, 
Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. With no ordinary curse. Uh, Olgeard is very wide. He's a very the wide person. In a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually take it hold. I've got something for you. I love gifts. But I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. I was about to be like, oh, why couldn't they do this at his ah, house, but... Must be livid. He's not. No? He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massacre. Ha! You underestimate me. They don't call me the butcher for nothing. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> Oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on Henbane, and then, surprise, heads rolling across the floor. And none know how or why. I'm not amused. No. Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boar sodies aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. True. Why did you need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatane. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yule get annoying on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse, they evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Yeah, sure, why not? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family, they took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. Especially in the north. Weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tankard. And then, then, I asked the wrong bloke for help. Uh, I don't know. Should we let him finish? I don't like Olgeard. What happened then? Uh, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Why do you stand there? Do you need something still? 
Well, yeah. You need to tell me what to do next. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. <laughs> Ophiri was a Dofa on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he traveled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. Third wish. Time you stay. Oh, oh my god, Olgir is is a bigger asshole than Amir. You there. Yank the heron out the barrel. You know what? I might just cosplay as the caretaker. Ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shits about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye. Got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. More talking from Old Gear. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burn the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenfurt claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strength. Yes! Fearless. Third you... task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead, we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. The thing is, just like, oh, we should talk outside. Now let's talk inside. Not about to drink with you. Third wish. Still
still waiting to hear it. Why, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her at last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you have. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this darkness, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you God speed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Scenes from a marriage, I think, is probably one of the saddest, uh... One of the saddest quests. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. Oh my god, what is with everyone hacking? <gasps> We're going to do it! We're going to do it! We're gonna go to Tucson! We're gonna be so over leveled. Better meet at high noon. Oh. It's all raining and. This be the witch man, break a nature. Geralt of Rivia. Ha! Sit with us, Witcher. People watch this one are also so nice to Geralt. We love it. Message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmer and de Longfall. Good to see you both. Been years. Oh, are they from the books? Your joy. You must forgive us our uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. Tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice the and Knights of Tucson. wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but I... do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. I can't. Well, hang on. Let me just do this really quick. Uh, because lifts should be around. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmodon wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. This now is why I love Tucson. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. Everything's also easier with bombs. Things are coming! 
Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. Cat, get out of the way! Yes, cat, move! Move! Hark! Contemptible cars! He mean us? I, Palmerin de Lonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores. Abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> right, good jest, that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off or we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, <laughs> wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? Or, or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's afeard of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready your arms. Do they not emerge? Yes! It is over. We have banished the scoundrels, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ugh, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. 
It's time we delivered our message. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... It is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. For us never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the star Cross city's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever, and the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet. Our only sure witnesses. Bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. A machine! To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants. Oh my god, it's Slenderman? Should you answer we have to fight Slenderman, guys. Blows, the beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Toussaint's a long way off. Gotta think if I really want to make the trek. A minor inconvenience. We had hoped you would agree. Geralt, we've no cause to return without you. Should we do so, her grace will greet us with gallows. Do you wish to burden your soul with the deaths of two old friends? Return to us soon and accept. We will await you here. As Milton says, with no choice. Okay, we will... So I think that's where I'm going to stop for tonight but we got a lot done and we got to my favorite favorite uh place but thank you so much to everyone who commented who joined me for my stream um i'm looking forward you have no idea i'm looking forward to going to tucson monday and i hope to see you all soon